Hey guys, I have a true story today about, um, this is not the coolest true story that there are out there, but it's about when this kid got stuck in a three foot tree. You know who you are because it's a classic moment in my life. Um, I will never forget this in my entire life just because it was so quirky and unique behavior. But with that being said, guys, we were just playing manhunt on my street, not my house, but down the street from me or on my street, but down the way. And... We were just playing manhunt, and I was climbing the tree because I'm a pretty good climber. And I was trying to tell my teammate, let's hide in the tree because they would never find us. Because it was a really cool tree. It had, like, it had like a balcony. Like, you climb up this three-foot tree, and it had, like, a whole, like, all, all the branches, like, had a perfect layout. So you can just, like, sit there and camp, and you can jump down. But the kid didn't want to. So after a few more rounds, we were, we were losing pretty bad. And I told that kid, let's hide in the tree. And he's like, okay, I'll do it. Tell me up. So I had to help him up. And then um, we got up there, right? And then they found us after probably six to seven hours. No, probably like ten minutes. But they found us. And I just jumped down. And the kid couldn't get down. And we're like, bro, get down. And he just could not get down. He just did not want to. So he's like, and it was, keep in mind, this is nighttime. This is not daytime. So he, he was more afraid of, he, he didn't want to like jump into like a rock. So it was dark, so I gave him my flashlight, right? I handed him my phone, because he didn't have a phone at the time. We were, we were jits back then. So we, I had a, I had a iPhone, this was probably iPhone 4. I'm not even going to cap on you all. So this is old. It's 2012, or maybe 13, who knows. But, um, I gave him my phone for a flashlight, and then he starts crying. And, we're, like, his, uh, then, like, we're trying to get him, and we, we're trying to pull him down. He's like holding on for dear life. And his brother comes and starts yelling. And I'm like, get the fuck down. And he just like, eh. and then he just takes my phone. And he starts like, I'm going 911. He goes, bah, bah, bah. and he's like, we're like, oh shit. Like we all just looked at each other like, holy shit. He just called 911. And he's like, <laughs> my, my, my name is, I'm not going to say his name. Just so I want to expose anyone. We can call him um, James. My name is James, and I'm stuck in a, a tree on, on third half. <laughs> and um, the kid called him one. And the, f sure enough, two fire trucks, three police cars come pull over the house. Like, I don't, I don't understand why there's two fire trucks and three police cars. And keep in mind, I already said this before, it's in the middle of the night, probably 10, 30, 11. So all these firefighters had to wake up in the middle of the night just to freaking help this guy that didn't even need help. So basically, the policeman, the fire department did nothing, I'm not going to lie. They're pretty tired. They're they all in their like actual clothes. They weren't even in their uniform, too, um, which is fucked up. So the policeman goes inside and knocks on our friend's house. We, like, we, like, we, this is how stupid is it. We didn't get the parents involved. The parents woke up. It's like, what? What's going on? Why is there a fire department here? Why is it like, and they're like, oh my God, what's happening? And then like, they're like stuck in a tree. Like, why don't you just ask us? And we're like, bro, you called 911. Like, we didn't have a choice. So sure enough, we, um, and we're not, we, the cop gets a stool, right? Literally a stepping stool. Goes to the tree and then it gets him out. Just by grabbing him. So, moral of the story, maybe don't call 911 unless you're in actual danger. Because now you're wasting everyone's time, but we were jits back then. This kid was a little younger than me, but he's in my homie today. But anyways, guys, that being said, this is a very short story. Not the coolest one I have. I have way cooler ones, but just throw it out there just because it is a true story that I'll never forget. Y'all have a good one.